class is in session at this beauty school in Nigeria. These young women are learning how to shape the perfect brow as well as their future careers. The beauty and cosmetics sector in Africa is booming and here in Nigeria it's big business for female entrepreneurs. 27-year-old Amanda is starting her own beauty business. She believes that makeup can change not just appearances but also her life. I want to become an entrepreneur. After my training here, I'll become a professional, open my own studio, employ people, and be useful. It is going to help me to achieve a lot in life, help me help my family. These students are learning makeup artistry and business skills, leading to diplomas thanks to Tara Fela Duratoye, founder and CEO of Africa's leading makeup company, House of Tara. The Nigerian cosmetics brand created entirely for African women was founded in 1998 when Duratoye was a 21-year-old law student. Today, House of Tara has 270 products, 23 stores, 14 schools and 10,000 representatives across Africa. At this House of Tara store, she walked me through the beauty products and the business model which was so successful that it's taught as a case study at Stanford University in America. And what led you to create a beauty brand specifically for black African women? The market, um, we had a lot of importation of foreign brands into Nigeria, uh, but many of those brands didn't cater to our color and our shade and our tones. Uh, they didn't consider our weather. We, women were walking around the place using the wrong shade of foundation. It was obvious to me this was an opportunity. It's important that Nigerians also know, Africans know, that a product line is being created with you in mind. Let's talk a little bit about the business strategy. What has made House of Tara so much more successful than other beauty brands? One of the things that House of Tara is very uh, well known for is not just that we're, we have a good business model, but also with, that we're impacting, impacting in terms of solving a social problem, one of them being um, unemployment, right? Um, House of Tara, because of the training centers across the country, the business model with our beauty, beauty reps who are um, micro-entrepreneurs who distribute products, who are trained and developed to start their own micro-businesses. By doing that, we're taking, we're snatching them away from the unemployment market space. And I think this is one of the things that makes House of Tara special, is impact, is empowerment. So my charge to many entrepreneurs in Africa is think about the social issues that we have. There are too many. And how do we build businesses that make money, but also do good? A growing population and rising consumer wealth mean that Africa's beauty and cosmetics market is one of the fastest growing in the world. The personal care market is expected to reach 13.6 billion by 2020. Nigeria and South Africa are the continent's biggest markets. L'Oreal, who are the world's leading cosmetics company and the owners of Maybelline, are partnering with local brands and beauty experts in Africa. Nigerian fashion and celebrity makeup artist Bimpe Onakoya has made up the faces of first ladies, Nollywood starlets and international supermodels around the world. Maybelline appointed her artistic director in Nigeria in 2014. Tell us a little bit about some of the things that Maybelline do here in Nigeria differently than they do elsewhere in the world, especially for Nigerian women. They had to create foundations to suit us and um, powder, to, because there are some shades that we sell here, like cacao, you don't get it anywhere in the world apart from Africa. So they came in first, foundation study, which a lot of brands don't do. Maybelline sent in some people from the US and from South Africa with like um, 100 shades of foundation. 100. Yes, and we were testing for two weeks on minimum of 100 women a day because they want to get the perfect shade. It was an expensive project, but they did it, and they did it here in Nigeria. As local and international cosmetics brands buy for consumers in this lucrative market, African women finally have beauty products to make them feel as beautiful as the skin they are in.